So, tunanza kipengele cha electrical conduction of gases. Electrical conduction of gases. So, najio tuivu kwa wadogo, tutikuwa tunasema, bwana gas simply is not a good conductor, is an insulator. But now, we are going to see kwamba a gas can become a conductor under specific conditions. So, tutasoma electrical conduction of gases. Jinsi gani, tunaza tukafanya gases zika conduct electricity. So the mechanisms kama nimetoka kusema hapo awali kwamba the issue here ni kwamba ku maintain low pressure ya gas na kupitisha umeme inayonize kwa ile gas inakuwa ni ions inakuwa ni charge kwa inapitisha umeme kama ilivyo any other conductor. So it only occurs when gases are at least partially ionized. So the all process itatokea a gas ita conduct umeme pale tu ambapo ina charge ambazo inaifanya iwe na properties kama za za za, za conductor so that it can pass your current from one charge to another but eventually ikatengeneza umeme so the conditions uh, is that a gas must be at least partially ionized the gas must be at least partially ionized lazima yo gas yu at least partially ionized hili iwe na vitendea kazi vya kupitisha umeme wenyewe sawa another condition ni kwamba lazima kuwe na electric potential difference or excess voltage across the gas sawa so, ini kutenganisha zile particles za kwenye gas sawa ili zitengeneze ions hizo sawa ndio maana kuna umuhimu wa electric potential difference ni kama conductor bila battery haiwezi kufanya kazi similar na huku bila electric potential difference au excess voltage across through the gas haiwezi kufanya kazi again lazima kuwe na strong electric field inajirudia at this point kama hapo strong electric field applied to the gas is the same the aim is kutengeneza charge kwenye kwenye ile gas ili iweze ku uh, tengeneza hivyo vitendea kazi vya kupitisha umeme again there should be low pressure nimeshaelezea kwa nini kuna low pressure sawa ni kwa sababu tunavyoweka electric field tunajaribu ku bombard hii gas sawa kutengeneza ions hasa kunapokuwa na pressure kubwa ina compress zile gas inazikandamiza kiasi kwamba zinarudi na kurecombine ku form tena gas kwa lazima tuwe na low, low pressure ili ku minimize recombination as minimum as possible so low pressure that the gas is reduced and to be very low to avoid recombination okay um ah, nimeelezo tu ambao yanaelezea the same thing ambacho nimesha sema okay for example near ground state the atmosphere is about 10 power 9 negative and positive ions per meter cubic but as long as there is no applied electric field the rates of production and removal of this charge in a balance kwa sababu kuna very high pressure hamna electric field ambayo inasababisha ionization kwamba tu ni naturally kwa kutokana na heat na vitu kama hivyo so due to pressure na nini no electric field zina end up ku recombine ndio maana gas at sisi hapa normally zinakuwa i conduct na hata hizo ndio watu napigwa shoot sababu we are always surrounded by naked uh, conductors so this schedule takes place of a wide range of gas pressures and electric currents involved sometimes you know mesha ongelea so the whole point hapa ni kwamba lazima kuwe na hizo sifa muhimu tatu lazima uh, kuwe na ionization ya gas ionization hiyo itaendana kama kuna low pressure kwa hiyo combination lakini electric potential difference ni muhimu au electric field ya ku exert kwenye hiyo yes so tuna kitu tunaita fluorescence pay attention hizi ni definition ambazo wanapenda sana kuuliza define fluorescence define phosphorescence muone ni vitu ambavyo wanapenda sana kuuliza so speaking of fluorescence This is the phenomena by which a substance emits visible radiation only as long as it is exposed with the violent light. Sawa? So, um kwa mfano, unapo TV zile za chogo za zamani, siku hizi najua kila mtu ana flat screen, lakini kwa wale ambao walibahatika kuona TV zile za chogo ambazo kwa naita za chogo au kompyuta zile za chogo, unaona kwanza ukiwasha hata kama kuna kashoot fulani kanalia hivi yani sio short in such lakini kama mliofani kama ching sawa pale inatokea kwa sababu zile cathode rays zina heat ile screen sawa inafanya fluorescence okay so kuna kuwa na violent light produced ambazo ndio beam ya electrons zile ambazo zina heat ile screen na fanya fluorescence so phenomenon by which a substance emits visible radiation only as long as it is exposed with violent light so unakuwa una screen una screen ambao violent light ikihit kwenye ile screen ile screen inasababisha 
kutoa e, 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 visible radiation any other light kawaid. so in contrary tuna kitu kinaita phosphorescence in fluorescence in phosphorescence if the phenomena in which a substance emits visible radiation was long time when uv radiation is illuminated on it as long as the substance is exposed So application ni kwamba sodium vapor lamp inakuwa inatumika kwenye street lighting okay street lighting uh, again mercury vapor lamp commonly used for lighting in domestic houses and industries uh, so application those two are the points to speak about sodium vapor lamp na mercury vapor lamp uh, tukiongelea gas discharge in detail sasa na emission line gas discharge and emission line is so gases such as hydrogen neon carbon dioxide can be placed inside a narrow discharge tube at low pressure ili kufanya what we call electric conduction of gas or electrical discharge in other words this is what we call discharge tube okay hapo ndo inaweka gas yako these two electrodes sando zitakapowekwa ili kuproduce your high voltage sawa ndani kuna kwa na low pressure kusababisha your discharge So when the metal electrodes end B at the end of the tube are connected to a high voltage supply such as 1000 volts a discharge light column is obtained between A and B discharge light column is obtained between A and B when the light from discharge tube is observed using diffracting grating the emission spectrum is seen to consist of well defined separated lines this type of emission spectrum is called line spectrum because in a kwa ni district district bila uh, breaks na nini ko is called line spectrum so what happens ni kwamba kulingana na ionization na nini inasababisha energy we gain as a result that is na fall kwenye low energy levels uh, kwa vile hamna easy recombination so ni kwamba tu zina fall kwenye energy levels toka juu kushuka chini na ku emit visible radiation So bombarding electrons knocks off electrons in the innermost orbit and creates gaps which are filled by electrons from higher orbitals when they move to these gaps they give out photons so because na fall kwenye lower uh, energy levels or ground state is na kwa zina release your energy ambayo ilikuwa ime gain kwa excited 